Hey, how's everybody doing today? Okay, I am back again. So, last time I spoke, I was talking about this F-16 Thrustmaster throttle that I picked up, and I have the 18 over there. My dilemma was trying to figure out how I could get these things on there, so I tried, for one, I tried extending it and putting two mounts, one in front of the other, and being able to like use a quick release to be able to drop one down, pull it up, screw it in, vice versa, you know, with the other one. And that just didn't work out right. I, I thought about slide rails. That was just an outrageous amount of money for a couple of, you know, quality slide rails. I, I didn't want to get nothing cheap. Um, another idea I had was putting these on some 2040 aluminum, the stuff that they make the frames out of, taking that and being able to slide one forward, pulling it up. That, I, I, I hooked it up. I didn't mount it, but I, I got the piece of 2040 and I it just what a hassle it was getting those little t-bolts back in oh my god going back and forth because I it's it just as for a matter of convenience I wanted to be able to quick swap these so the other night watching tv I just thought well why don't I make mounts out of aluminum and I'll get the good aluminum that's got a really 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 low carbon to it carbon is what attracts magnets so this long story short these things not happening so what I did I thought it was actually a pretty good idea is I picked up now I picked up some 150 <laughs> oh my god I picked up some 150 pound magnets and I picked up some of this eighth inch thick aluminum nice stuff and I cut it to size and I connected the 150 pound magnets. There's four, one on each corner. And I'll show you underneath. But what happened is I didn't realize when you do 150 times, you know, four, eight, six, what is that? 150, 300, 600. You know, that's a lot of pull. I mean, I put my hand under it. I almost squashed all four fingers. I was like, holy shit, man. My, my, my kid was in the other room and heard me yelp. I was like, oh, what the heck? So I, I ended up getting some 25 pounders. I didn't realize. I thought a magnet was a magnet. They sent me these freaking 150 pounders. So this is actually a 25. And believe it or not, the 150s are identical. So I guess it's a matter of whatever material they use to make the magnet stronger. I mean, they have them all the way up to like 360. I could get one of these and put a hook on it, one of the 200 pounders and hang from it. I mean, if I wanted to stick it to a piece of metal. So that idea anyways went out the window and I ended up getting a 25 pounders and I measured out obviously bigger than what the, see, I don't need the controls for this. For one, like I said, I had looked at the controls on the other one and I, I already have the PTO, uh, the wind wing PTO too. So with whatever, I don't use on there for the F-16 for, you know, that that's in, assigned for the F-18. I can assign on the F-16 and it did, it took everything. So this was fine. And actually the thing on this that I really liked the most was, was the handle, it was so accurate. I have the wind wing one, but the big thing that really bothers me is this knob up here, wind wing. They've got some crazy knob, you can't even really roll it. You gotta stop and grab it and move. So. What I did is I ended up going with a 7x11 size, and you can see where I scuffed it up. I put some small, I think the uh, M6 bolts, one inch. I made sure there was nothing in, in the way that would, like, damage it. The, alum, the, the magnets are going opposite directions, so you don't have to worry. I've already checked into this. You don't have to worry about it erasing your memory or anything like that. You don't want to use magnets around electrical components that store things like memory. So this worked out incredible. Yeah, I scuffed it up because I just used like a double-sided tape. The bolts are about a little, little, like a couple millimeters lower than the magnets, believe it or not, so they don't get in the way. I did the same thing with the F-18 handle, and I can show you exactly how that worked out. So as you can see, I can pull it off with ease and I can also move it back and forth freely with no issues whatsoever. It, it, it doesn't go anywhere. It sticks right on there and it takes me 30 seconds. I just hang the cable. I can unplug it, hang the cable from a uh, little rubber cable holders I have over there, stick it up, take it off, plug it in, or even leave it plugged in. And I got a little nine inch tall stool over there and I take the uh, throttle and I just set it on top of that. I 
picked it up for like nine bucks at Amazon. Okay, so yeah, I mean, you can see how easy that is. I just pick it up, drop it on, put the other throttle on, and wow. So, 12 by 12, 1 8 sheets of aluminum. I'm pretty sure that M6, 1 inch, you can get either, if you want to get a flat head type, or you can get, what I used was some that were left over from the frame. They're the Allen key type. I was a little worried they were going to stick up higher than the magnets, but like I said, fortunately, they don't. You can get some type of lower profile Phillips head style. I mean, what? whatever works for you and when, once it's my it, it's just wow I'm, I'm pretty happy with it. it for me it works I just reach over pick it up place it down put the other there bingo what I'm also going to do next is I'm measuring out for this plate right here I'm going to have it cut out I'm going to do the same thing I'm going to countersink some holes I'm going to mount a piece of aluminum to this and I'm going to put smaller magnets and they're probably going to have to be stronger ones because this is a lot this is a lot lower it's a lot smaller profile and I'll have to experiment I'll probably start with like a 50 or a 60 pound magnet they'll be smaller probably three quarter inch instead of 1.26 like is on, on like I'm using on these and when I want to fly F16 style, I can just pop it off and put it over on the side mount, which I have over there. It's a smaller side mount. Pop it down and put the F16 handle on. When I want to go back to 18, put the 18 throttle, two seconds, two seconds to put the joystick base with the F16 grip on it. I 90% of the time I'll be flying probably the F-18, but I just wanted to share this with you. It's like I said, get a 12 by 12 sheet of aluminum, 1 8 inch thick, Amazon. It's very, it's very inexpensive. For less than probably $15, $16, you can pick up a pack of 12 or 15 magnets. I use the 25 pounders. The 150s were totally dangerous. <laughs> My finger's still sore. And my, if, you, if you have the tools, you know, standard drill, you drill your hole, you line everything up, just a little bit of measurement. If, you, if you're halfway decent with a tape measure and everything, you're golden. Oh, I did a little paint job on it because I just like red and black. So I figured I'd change this around. I don't know, tell me what you think. Too much? Think it's too much? I think it came out pretty cool. You can tell I like red. I also did red pinstripe and that was just the plastic stuff you buy for cars. I had a thing of it sitting on on my on my shelf, and I was like, "Yeah." I started messing around with it before you know it. My buddy came over here the other day. He has the same exact throttle, and he looked at that, and he's like, "Oh, that's a newer style." He's like, "Where'd you get that?" I said, "Well, it's a wind wing." He's like, "No, how did you get? Where? I never seen that." I said, "Dude," I gave him the. The roll of tape. I was like, yeah. I said, all I did was put some tape on it. Get a razor blade and very carefully trim it and put a little design to it. I also added those knobs. Instead of the black ones that came, I got a pack. I think it was like $3.99. Um, they were black. I didn't use the black ones. They have red, blue, green, yellow. Anyways, if you want to get creative or if you want a quick way of being able to swap your throttles out, I think this is probably the best idea I could come up with. I've seen a couple other really good ideas that some of the guys came up with where they were able to build a, I think it was like they used the same thing. They used some 2040 aluminum and they could pull it up and drop it back. A little bit longer to take because you got to tighten stuff up, loosen stuff up, and, and it's a little bit bulky. This way, like I said, I pick it up, drop it on the side. Oh, don't drop it. Put it on the side, swap them out. It, it just works out beauty. Very happy. So I can put it in close if I want. Or if I want to put it out further, I can put it out further. Yeah, it's not going nowhere. All the way, all the way back. You're not going to move it. So there's my little, my daughter's like, yeah, dad, you can't stop. You're always doing something. She like wishes she had half my energy, but hey, you don't live forever. So do the things you want to do. Enjoy life. Get it done, you know. Never stop thinking of different ways to do things. That's how I stay busy. Keeps me from getting bored and getting old too quick. On that note, that's my idea. Worked out beautiful. Totally happy. 
Anybody wants to know, maybe, maybe I'll, I'll add all the stuff that I got for this in the link down below if somebody's in the same predicament and they're tired of changing things around, they want a quick way of doing it. Here's one option. So I hope this works out for somebody. Everybody, you have a great rest of your weekend. I'm going to try to get this video out. It's Saturday, so it will be out for at least Saturday night or Sunday. So enjoy your weekend. If you like this video, please remember to give me a thumbs up. Don't forget to share it. Other people may be interested. And if you're new to the channel, subscribe. On that note, I'm going to hook all my stuff up and go for a flight. I'm going to start recording some more of my flying too, which isn't great, but it's something. <laughs> Peace out.